Hi all, Cynthia here from NB Pretty Papers, back today with a Art Party Friday page. So there's the inspiration piece, full of colour and brightness, and it reminds me of a party type of thing. So I decided that I would do something around a party. Just the page that I started with here in my art journal is a page that I've done just over a period of time. I've used up leftover paint and made some blocks. I was going to attempt to do something blocky at one stage, but that never came together. And so I'm going to use it as the base for this layout. So I pulled out some sprays here. I've pulled out a mixture of Heidi Swap colour shine and Mr Huey's sprays and I'm using mainly the three colours yellow, red and blue. Uh, the three colours that I'm spraying on putting lots of blobs and letting it dribble down. Now I've cut out all the drying time as there was a fair bit of that as you could imagine with all the sprays going on. Decided that I want the colours to be a little bit more vibrant and bright, so I'm now pulled out a couple of gelatos in the same colour. So I've pulled out the yellow, a blue, and a pink, I think is what I pulled out. I didn't have a red one. This blue is a metallic blue, so it sort of gives a little bit of a shine to the page as well. Just clean off the finger, otherwise it goes all grotty and dark. And I think you see me put one on down here in a moment. Um, I come back in with the blue, do I? Or is it the pink there? That one there, I put that on. It sort of goes a brown colour. So I wipe that off straight away. So if you have a wet baby wipe around, you can just wipe it all off. Just trying to get those colours spread throughout the page. I'm not exactly sure where it's going. Um, just now I want to do something around a party and bright and festive as the colour inspiration was. Now I've pulled out these paints here. These are absolutely gorgeous and vibrant in colour and I'm going to use an old cap off a, a drink bottle or something just to put some circles in the background as well adding more texture and depth to the page so if you just keep adding the layers it looks quite hideous at the moment I must admit um, but if you just keep working it keep going sooner or later it will all come together and thankfully it does Adding some bright yellow, and they really stand out against the background too. And then I come in and I do the same with the third colour, um, the blue, the the red, the pink. Yes, bright pink. So just using that, clean the cap off between each colour, so you can. Um, Get a nice clean crisp colour. If you leave the other colour on, you'll get a mixing colour, which is fine if that's the look you're going for. Um, obviously, you put the the pink and uh, the yellow and the blue, you might get a bit of a green tone. Pulled out a stencil here, and I'm going to use those same three colours. So I really am trying to keep to the to the colours of pink and red, yellow and blue. And I, so I pull out this light, a small stencil, small dots, and I put all three colours through that. And then I pull out another stencil and um, I do the same, put the three colours through. But actually with the second stencil, I use some of my Distress Oxide inks.
coming in now with some stamps. I've pulled out the black archival ink and I have two different types of stamps. This one here that has sort of round squirrely patterns on it and you can also see off to the left there this one here and I use the smaller circle out of that. Once again so the background is really starting to build up, has lots of layers and depth to it and I'm liking the way that start to look. It's not quite as hideous as what it was before. Still not exactly sure what I'm going to go from here and how I'm going to make it come together. Um, but so I stopped and had a bit of a thought and I've decided that I've now drawn a basic outline on the background and I'm going to color it all in black and I can tell you this nearly nearly killed me doing this I, I ummed and I ahed and I hesitated and my son standing there saying don't do it mum don't do it uh, but it's it it's down so I now go through and I color out all the bits that I don't want so I've sort of just left with a um, I don't know what you call it a reversed silhouette And so I go right around all the outline, all the images that I've drew on the page and um, and just have the outlines. And I quite like the way it turns out. So, But as I said, I, I did cringe covering up all that gorgeous colour. How has everyone been while I've been doing this? Are you all well? Are you all managing to do a little bit of... Oh, I don't know, journaling or scrapbooking or crafting of some description, Scription, bleh, like, scrapbooking or crafting of some description is what I'm trying to spit out. So start to come together now you can really see what the image is that I'm going for so I have a, a girl standing there holding some balloons and a present in her hands and then down in the bottom right hand corner I have some more presents and then a, a banner up the top so obviously going with some sort of party theme but once again I've got to this point and I don't really know what quote or saying I'm going to use. Going through with the paint pen trying to just sort of clean up some of the edges a little bit. Now my camera does die right towards the end you pretty much see it all but once it comes towards the end I go back in more with 
a white gel pen and I outline I start off just sketching making some high highlights but in the end I go around and outline all the images uh, I think it just gives it a little bit more pop off the page and stands out that little bit more and try to make it a little bit brighter again if that's possible so I'm wanting to add a little bit of an edge here and I pulled out the Distress Oxide ink and I do go around the whole way but I try to cover it up in the end well I don't try to cover it up I, I go over it I guess is what I'm trying to say I get the white Posca pen out and I go right around the edge a few times with that make a, a messy white border I think you see that coming up here in a minute after I go around a few times some of it's not quite dry so you can see every now and then the layers underneath are still a little bit wet that Heidi Swap colour shine takes forever to dry so I had to try to um, work over top of it and of course that destroyed me pen instantly but there you get that you see with fight with me for all you see me fight with it for a while so I'm just trying to add highlights here and I'm liking the way the white is sort of standing off the page and that's the why I decided to come back in a little bit later and go around the whole um, outline adding some white splashes over the page again just to add, try to make it that little bit brighter again and this is where I come in with the paint pen to add some sketchy marks around the edge and I probably go over that uh, I would say five times by the time I finish because as it dries it sort of takes up the colour of the paint underneath it so it's not quite as vibrant so I go over it quite a few times to get back that colour so it's probably about this point after I do this I stop and decide what quote I'm going to use so I go to Pinterest and I just type in party girl probably and I come up with this quote which says life is like a party dress like it and I thought that was appropriate as her dress is nice and bright and vibrant and and fun so that's the layout I'm going to go with so I've just pulled some alpha stickers from my stash and have stuck them onto some white cardstock and then cut them out so I could move them around a little bit easier wasn't exactly sure how I was going to stick them down and obviously that is what I decided upon that's the end of the layout so thank you very much for watching please give me a thumbs up comment jump on and have a subscribe to the crafty maven getaway channel um, and keep your eyes out for future videos once again thank you very much for watching until next time have a good day a good week or a good month and i will talk to you on the next video catch you then bye